graduation. Graduation. <laughs> graduation. Yeah. Ah. Hello, I'm Tyler DeTilio, and I'm the student director of the Great Valley Chamber Singers. Here is the Star Spangled Banner and Great Valley's alma mater. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched with so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star's and welcome to the class of 2020 graduation ceremony. I never thought I'd be saying the speech into a camera lens instead of you all in your caps and gowns on this day. These past few weeks have definitely not been what we expected nor what we deserved. Instead of roaming the halls, filling the library with loud buzz, and pulling off our senior pranks, we were somewhere in our houses trying to connect to our team's meeting. However, we were able to finally binge those few TV shows that we had been waiting to watch. We were finally able to take those few self-care days that we so badly needed. After school, instead of going to sports practices and hanging out with friends, we were going on our fifth hike of the day. But we also got to spend quality time with our family and reconnect with the environment around us. We were able to start working on those projects and goals that we kept putting off to focus on schoolwork. We, were, we are always so busy, <clears throat> and this virus has forced us to take a deep breath and take a deep look into our lives, and that is something that would have never happened without it. No one expected this, but life is a never-ending hike. It's filled with beauty, yet also with prickly vines, with steep inclines and overgrown paths, but also with flat, clean paths that lead to beautiful sights. Throughout our journeys in this world, we're going to be presented several trying paths. But the beauty in life will always be waiting for you at the end of all that struggle. And I implore that you all never shy from those trying paths because it is within those where you learn the most about yourself and the world. On March 13th, a tree fell and covered the easy, well-worn path and our class ventured into the unknown, unwalked, and uncertain forest. Yet, we made it through together, maybe not physically, but this event has unified not only the Great Valley class of 2020, but every class of 2020 in the world. We've all faced the same sadness, mourning, and heartache over the loss of our last few months of our senior year that would have been the epic ending of all the hard work we've poured into school for the last 12 years. But hey, this is just another steep incline and we've almost made it to the top. Thousands of beautiful sights and charming paths are waiting for us at the end of the hill. However, now is not the time to think of those two months lost. It's a time to relish and reflect on the thousands of memories those 12 years have brought us. 
We were able to get to the end because we have all grown into outstanding people with the help of the staff and students that roam the halls of Great Valley Schools. All the hardships we faced over the past few years have given us the strength to power through these uncertain times. All of the long nights stressing over the assignments and tests due the next day, all those difficult conversations with people, all the relationships lost, and now the abrupt ending of our senior year. All of these steep inclines on our paths have developed our character and have allowed us to become the matured students who are about to trek and conquer all the new paths of the real world. And as we seek all those novel views, we should always remember our roots and reflect on the time spent here at Great Valley. Even though these last few months have been filled with a roller coaster of emotion, Another notable outcome is the global connection and absolute uniqueness that is now correlated with the class of 2020. No other class can tell tales of their virtual graduation or just being seniors during a global pandemic. We will be written about in history books and our children will be asking us to help them on history assignments about Corona. During our job interviews, they'll ask us what it was like being the class of 2020. We had Barack Obama, Facebook, and John Krasinski make a virtual graduation where hundreds of celebrities presented speeches in our honor. And now, I have to compete with Oprah Winfrey and Barack Obama for who can give the best graduation speech. And we all know who wins that one, but I'm trying my best. Even though we may have lost our own prom, we had John Krasinski DJ a virtual prom where singers like Billie Eilish and Jonas Brothers performed. All these influencers and celebrities have seen the grand scope of our abilities, perseverance, and power, and they wanted to cheer us on. Not only has our class faced unprecedented circumstances, but we have also learned countless hard lessons over these past few months that will add so much value to our lives. We have been able to persevere in the face of a global pandemic, so any hardship that presents itself in our lives, we look straight at it and conquer it, knowing we've already overcome these crazy times. The steep incline will flatten soon, and it will unveil countless incredible paths and views that will be open to us once we go off to the colleges, jobs, and other places we will encounter on our journey. It deeply saddens me that I wasn't able to say goodbye to you all in person, but I thank you for everything you've taught me. Although you may not have realized it, every single one of you has made a deep impact on me, and it has been an honor to be your president for the past four years. I'm so excited to see all your future successes. And so, it is my time to say goodbye, thank you, and I wish you all the best. Don't forget, whenever you feel like it's the end of the world, or you're at rock bottom, it's just another steep hill that you can climb. And once you reach the top, there will be a gorgeous view waiting for you. So Great Valley Class of 2020, keep climbing. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bella Bonanno, and I have the privilege of serving as a class treasurer this year. Tonight, I have the honor to introduce one of my longtime friends, Katherine Olofsson. Katie is the daughter of Susan and Harold Olofsson. Katie is a four-year member of Concert Choir, as well as a member of Great Valley's most selective choir ensemble, Chamber Singers. She's an active member in Drama Guild and received the Spirit of Professionalism Award this year. In addition to participating in the arts, she's also a four-year member and captain of the softball team. Next year, Katie will study secondary history education at the University of Scranton. Please join me in welcoming my friend, Katie Olofsson. We are the class of 2020. Some have called us the class of the pandemic. Others have called us the class of tragedies. And this is kind of true, isn't it? I mean, we were born in the wake of 9-11, we entered elementary school at the peak of the 2008 stock market crash, entered middle school after the Boston Marathon bombing, and entered high school as school shootings became a regular occurrence. Now, we are graduating in the midst of a pandemic. However, I don't want to talk about the class of tragedies. I want to talk about the class of 2020, the class that was born with Wikipedia and iTunes, and entered elementary school as the first person of color was elected president. I want to talk about the class that entered middle school with the Harlem Shake and selfies and entered high school with the mannequin challenge. We are the generation of silly bands and high school musical. We remember the times we used to get so excited to see that old TV in our elementary school classroom, but we were also the first grade to receive school iPads. We learned how to use both VHS tapes and smartphones without an instruction manual. In a world that seemed to only hand us bad news, we found the good. We are the good. 
As a class, we raised money to fight cancer. We donated our senior assassin money to Feeding America and supplied over 2,000 meals for families in need. We became Eagle Scouts and volunteered countless hours to give back to the community that we love so much. And we have so much more good to give. We managed to stay connected in a time where isolation seemed inevitable. We Zoomed and FaceTimed. We filmed songs that we never got to perform on stage, and we listened to Miss Bogan's bedtime stories. We had birthday parades and virtual proms, and I've never been so proud to call myself a member of the class of 2020. To my class, thank you. Thank you for the playground memories and embarrassing pictures my mom will definitely be posting on Facebook tonight. Thank you for the awkward middle school dances and cool field trips. For being the rowdiest goon squad with unwavering school spirit, being a friendly face in the hallway or a person to work with in class, it has been an honor to learn, grow, laugh, and love with all of you. I wouldn't trade you for the world. I look forward to teaching my students about you someday. To our teachers, thank you for guiding us through 13 years of school, for teaching us the importance of persevering through tough content, for taking extra time to help me with all the lessons I just couldn't wrap my head around, and of course for not failing me when I started my big Hamlet essay with a Hannah Montana quote. Thank you for opening your classrooms to shenanigans, circle time, and fun facts of the day. Personally, I want to say thank you for inspiring me to pursue teaching as a career. If I can become half the teacher you all have been and leave the lasting impact on my students that you left on us, I will be a phenomenal teacher. Lastly, I have to thank the parents and guardians watching today. Thank you for being our support systems through all of this and for all the work you put into saving our senior year. Thank you for raising these incredible students that I have the pleasure of graduating with today. Soon, we will become Great Valley alumni. I think that has a nice ring to it. But remember, when all of this is over, hug your family, call your friends, and thank your mentors. We wouldn't be here without them. I would like to end my speech with a little letter to my kindergarten self. She graduated on June 5th, 2008. Hey kiddo, congrats on graduating. I know you're a little nervous to go to a big new school next year, but I promise you'll make so many friends. They really are the best. Now I don't want to spoil anything, but I do have something really important to tell you. Cherish every moment, because before you know it, it'll be June 5th, 2020. You'll be speaking in front of all of the people who have supported you for as long as you can remember, and they all look a little older than usual. I know I can't see you, but I know you do. And you'll be saying goodbye to the people in place that you call home. So seniors, I want you to ask yourself, did I cherish every moment? Did I genuinely enjoy every second of life that I could have leading up to this point? If the answer is no, and I can definitely say I underappreciated some things, redeem yourself. Right here, right now. Look around you, soak it in, and make a promise that you will never take a single second for granted ever again. If this year taught us anything, it's that life moves too fast. I know it hurts to not be able to smile at your friend or wave to your classmate, but I look forward to mo the moment we get to walk across the stage for real. Until then, enjoy this moment. Because soon, the last name will be called and high school will be over. I know this isn't the ending anyone expected, but we never liked doing things everyone else's way anyway. I'll leave you all with one final question. Great Valley High School graduating class of 2020. Are you ready to graduate? Because I think I finally am. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Susan Dutt, and it has been a privilege to serve as the student body treasurer. It is my honor to introduce one of my closest friends, Jackson Mishler. Jackson is the son of Linda and Paul Mishler and brother to Lucas. As you may remember him from his Mr. Great Valley TED Talk, Jackson is an active part of the school community. He serves as student body vice president, and outside of Great Valley, he is the president of the Chester County Student Forum. Jackson is also the secretariat director for the Model UN, chair of the leadership committee in the National Honor Society, and is a member of the French National Honor Society. He has competed on the crew team since freshman year, and outside of school, he works at the Wayne Art Center. Jackson will be attending Hobart and William Smith College to study political science on the pre-law track. Please join me in welcoming Jackson Mishler. Greetings to the class of 2020, to our supportive families and friends, and to the Great Valley High School faculty and staff who have worked tirelessly to make this day both possible and special. I begin with the elephant in the room. This was not the graduation many of you hope for or deserve. 2020 was supposed to be a big year in my family, with me graduating from high school, my brother graduating from college. A few months ago, I was losing my mind trying to figure out how I would fit two AP tests, my uh, 
Crew team's largest regatta, our class prom, and my brother's graduation all into one weekend. Well, COVID-19 solved those problems for us. <laughs> no regatta, no prom, and no on-site graduation for my brother either. It's easy to feel sorry for ourselves in these circumstances by focusing on what we have lost. But in times of adversity, our inner strength and resilience shine. So as we step forward into this next phase of life, into a world that has moved in drastic and uncertain directions, let us do so with the pride and spirit and us here at Great Valley. In the current social conditions, we must preserve our humanity and the connections that bind us despite having to separate from each other physically. Physical distance cannot erase the community that we have built together. If there's one thing the coronavirus has spread around, it's time. Probably too much of it for a lot of us. During quarantine, I, like many of you, have found my thoughts wandering to my experience at Great Valley. The many people I've met, the friendships I've made, the sports teams I've cheered for, and the many special events like homecoming and prom. When I think of the single moment that best captures the inextinguishable Great Valley spirits, it is not one of these indelible memories or ironclad bonds I've formed. Instead, it is a moment that involves, well, almost none of you. Now, before you get offended, allow me to explain. A few months ago, the school board rep, David Nemeth, and I had the honor and privilege of giving a tour to the class of 1979 for their 40th reunion. We stood in the lobby and watched the alumni file in as they excitedly greet each other with hugs and handshakes. As we roamed the halls of Great Valley, it became less and less clear who was giving a tour to whom. The alumni described in detail how the school looked 40 years ago. For example, did you know that the library used to be two stories high, or that the main office used to be where the nurse's office is now? Did you know you can actually see a line on the floor in the science wing where the building used to end before its expansion? Most interestingly, did you know that they used to play donkey basketball at Great Valley? Yes, it is a real thing. Donkeys are brought to the gym and students would play basketball while riding on their backs. But I digress. The tour was a special moment in time because of the alumni's immense energy and infectious enthusiasm for Great Valley. Their commitment to the school was evident not only in their willingness to return 40 years after graduation, but also in the way they excitedly reminisced about the great times they had in high school. This tour guide experience taught me that Great Valley is more than a pile of books, a grade level, or a brick and mortar building on Phoenixville Pike. The community is within us and among us. It is this community that gives us strength during these trying times. Four simple yet ominous words I've heard a lot lately are in these uncertain times. Yes, these are uncertain times, but let me ease your mind by telling you a few things of which I am certain. I am certain that tomorrow the sun will rise and with it the sense of pride that accompanies receiving a diploma from one of the nation's best high schools. After today, we may all take separate paths, but we remain united by this common high school experience. I am certain that we will meet again as classmates be it in a few months for an in-person celebration or several years from now for a class reunion. I'm certain that 40 years from now, we will return to our alma mater like the class of 1979. And like them, we will greet each other with hugs and handshakes, roam the halls while reminiscing, and tell our stories to some bright-eyed kid from the class of 2060. I'm certain that our connection to this community does not end today. We will forever be a part of this warm and enthusiastic community comprised of past and present students, faculty, and staff. We may leave Great Valley, but Great Valley never leaves us. John F. Kennedy once said, to whom much is given, much is expected. We've been lucky enough to receive much, an unforgettable high school experience and an unrivaled education. Now it is our time to push forward and accomplish much. I see tremendous potential in my classmates here today and look forward to hearing their stories 40 years hence. Until that day, Hearty congratulations, class of 2020. May Patriot Pride light a fire in your hearts, and may the spirit of this dynamic community guide all your future endeavors. Thank you. Good evening, classmates, family, and friends. My name is Riley Costello, and I have served as the student body corresponding secretary for the class of 2020. I have the pleasure of introducing a longtime friend and someone who truly represents what it means to be a Great Valley student, Cleo Roker. Cleo is the daughter of Rona and Steven Roker and the sister to Alexander Roker. She is the president of Interact Club, a homeroom representative for Student Council, and a member of Key Club and Adagio. She was inducted into both the National Honor Society and the Hispanic National Honor Society. Cleo is also the editor for the Great Valley School newspaper, The Surveyor. Next year, she will be attending Penn State University to study journalism. Please join me in welcoming Cleo Roker. Hi class of 2020, 
I assume most of you know me, but if not, I'm Cleo Roker, and I'm honored to get the chance to speak before you in Great Valley's first ever virtual graduation. Wow, look at us. Four years of high school and we have finally conquered every milestone that high school has to offer. Whether it was campuses full of laughter or exasperating study halls, examancitos de Kia or AP exams, walking for wellness or general PE, we all somehow have made it to this moment. The moment where we walk out onto the field that we have watched football games on for the past four years. The moment where our name is called, we accept a diploma and throw our hats as the sun sets over us and Great Valley High School becomes a memory rather than our reality. That was how I began the graduation speech I wrote last year, a couple days after watching the class of 2019 graduate. See, for some people, when they feel inspired, they draw, compose music, play sports. I usually write. What most people find painfully boring, I actually do for fun. I know, who does that? When I heard there was an opportunity to speak at graduation this year, I remembered I had written a speech and thought that perhaps I could use it for the audition. Reading it over, however, not only did it not make sense, since we're sitting in front of computers and not on a field, but because it was full of abstractions and generalities that could not nearly encompass what makes the class of 2020 so special, since it was written by a junior who had no idea what 2020 would look like. And yes, Technically for us, it was three years and seven months with three months online. And no, we will not physically be accepting a diploma and throwing our hats the way we thought. But that does not make us any less high school graduates because at the end of the day, where it all began remains the same. That being said, I wanna invite you to take a quick walk down memory lane. Hot off the DC dance, we walked into Great Valley High School wide-eyed and above all, confused. As we wandered through what seemed like a labyrinth at the time, Questions floated around like, should I be afraid of Mrs. Iannucci? Why do the numbers of classrooms go up and then down and suddenly switch from odd to even? And is there really a pool on the roof? Not to mention, unlike sophomores, juniors, and seniors at the time, each of us freshmen got our very own personal iPad that we got to flaunt in the library while standing next to the printer. But we trudged on. We stood at the very top of the student section and looked out onto the field and it felt like high school would last forever. We read the Odyssey as we embarked on a bit of an odyssey of our own, and somehow time sped on. Sophomore year, we had chem papers, permit tests, and sweet 16s. Some of us battled a push, while others battled for first place in Kahoot with Mr. Mayberry. When the infamous junior year came upon us, we were excited, but also a little terrified. It was pretty much one big run-on sentence. We had passionate discussions in AP Lang, potato guns went off in physics with Mr. Wiest, and all the while we were applying to NHS, Allied Health, studying for SATs, visiting colleges, moving up the ranks on sports teams, and doing an end of the year project in every class. Barely making it out, summer came. Suddenly the concepts like Common App and majors in college were not just concepts, they were reality. Emotional breakdown here, bubbling in C there, and then finally senior year. It was time to relax and enjoy all those senior privileges that finally applied to us. We stood against the railing, packed together on the edge of the bleachers in togas that Friday in August, and took the title of senior for the first time. We made senior jeans during spirit week, some got to celebrate senior night, music students took a trip to Disney, girls basketball dominated and played at Temple, and we were all getting a more clear idea of what our futures would look like when everything stopped. Flash forward to the present, the future is not as clear as it once was. However, if there's anything we can pride ourselves with, it is that I don't think any grade can come close to what the class of 2020 has endured. If high school were a video game, this would be the final boss of the final level, the hardest one to defeat. The one where you need every player fighting at their absolute best in order to beat. By being here, working together, and uniting to celebrate, despite everything working against the idea of a union of people right now, I feel like we are winning. Maybe not the way we thought we would, but we are. Now, I wanna read you the ending of that speech I wrote last year. I don't know about you, but I thought I would feel older. The eighth grade girl that watched her brother graduate from Great Valley in 2016 thought he was so mature and ready for what was ahead. But now I can see that he was just a 17 year old kid that like us had no idea what his life would look like in the months to come. Yes, we have experienced it all. We can calculate velocity and talk about our favorite foods in Spanish, French, or German, but we're kids. Most of us will change our majors halfway through freshman year and get locked out of our dorms once or twice. 
I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that the future will be full of even more lessons to be learned, friends to be made, and mistakes to grow from. And that was how it ended. I'm not sure if I wanted it to end that way, or if I just went to bed and never remembered to finish the speech, but regardless, I think it's a good message to leave you with. Without the help of a global pandemic, we are at a juncture where what comes next can be daunting, perhaps straight up scary. However, what well, looking back at that speech I wrote last year has made me realize is that no one knows what's around the corner. I didn't know then, and I don't know now. My brother didn't, our parents don't, and our teachers don't either. Perhaps that is the most exciting part. Though it will be new and take adjusting to, the next years of our lives are ones where we get to start fresh. There will be a time for newfound youth, opportunity, and discovery. We should revel in the fact that now more than ever, no one has it figured out. The odyssey we went on throughout high school towards the end of senior year was more of an odyssey of the mind. Confined to just four walls and four blocks on Microsoft Teams, there was and still is more time to think, which can result in overwhelming creativity but also overwhelming anxiety. In the end, we're not physically together, but, we'll, but what will tether us together forever is our memories. Though we are all currently living in the virtual world, we will cherish the time we had together and the way we stayed connected, even when we couldn't be together. The class of 2020 is bound together in a way no class ever was. While this is the end of high school, it perhaps marks the beginning of a new chapter for the entire world, one of which we will all appreciate more than we ever could have without this experience. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Emma Bannister, and I'm the president of the class of 2020. It is my honor to thank two outstanding individuals who have helped our class throughout the past four years. Our class advisors, Senora Catalano and Ms. Lutz, have assisted our class with memorable events, such as junior prom, each of our homecomings, and various class fundraisers. Despite all the challenges this year has brought, our class advisors were there to support the best interests of our class. I would personally like to thank both of you for your resilience and flexibility through these unpredictable circumstances. I would also like to thank another charitable and altruistic member of our Great Valley community. It is difficult to even think about student council without thinking of Mrs. Medvick. Over the past 10 years, she has devoted an immense amount of time as student council sponsor of our entire high school. Mrs. Medvick's passion for student council and the betterment of our community is contagious. I hope each and every one of us can learn from her dedication and selflessness. As she passes on her position of student council sponsor to another faculty member, her legacy in our district will continue to thrive. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank all three of you like, once again for your time committed to supporting our class. Hello, my name is Travis Madden and I am the student body recording secretary. From the youth of elementary school, the growth of middle school and the maturity of high school, teachers and staff from kindergarten to 12th grade have all played a key role in getting us to this point. This year, we would like to give a special thanks to a member of the Great Valley community who is retiring at the end of the 2019 to 2020 school year, Nurse Betty. We wish Nurse Betty the best in her retirement and thank her for everything she has done for us as the high school's nurse. Additionally, we would also like to express our sincere gratitude for Dr. Speaker Polabinski. As many of you know, Dr. Speaker Polabinski is moving on to a new role as Executive Director of the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit. Dr. Speaker Polabinski has been with us for the past five years, and we would like to thank her for her diligent service and commitment that she has brought to our district. We wish her the best of luck moving forward and greatly appreciate everything she has done. Finally, on behalf of the Class of 2020, it is my honor to thank all of Great Valley's teachers and staff for their dedication and service. They have helped us mature and grow into the people we are today. Good evening, members of the Great Valley community. My name is Casey Capitola, and I had the wonderful opportunity to be the secretary of the class of 2020. Today is a day to celebrate the tenacity and success of our senior class. I am beyond proud of all of my peers on their hard work and dedication in our four years at the high school. Although the success of each student is their own, the amazing administrative team should be acknowledged for facilitating this growth. Growing up as the son of the principal, I've become very familiar with our administrative team of Mr. McCluskey, Mr. Connors, and of course, Dr. Capitola. I've seen firsthand the countless hours and days that these fantastic individuals have put into their work in order to make Great Valley 
the best environment for students to learn and grow. Each of them truly cares about every student, going out of their way to build relationships instead of simply handling administrative tasks. From the class of 2020, we would like to thank you all for your hard work to help organize and coordinate this event and your commitment to the success of each student here today. I now have the pleasure of introducing our principal and my spectacular mother, Dr. Capitola. Thank you so much for everything you've done for both myself and my peers in our time here at Great Valley. Good evening. On behalf of the entire staff of the Great Valley High School, I would like to welcome everyone joining us to honor our class of 2020. I am Heidi Capitola, proud principal of Great Valley High School and proud mom of a graduate in the class of 2020. Being both mom of a senior and principal has given me a unique perspective of this very special class. Most of tonight's graduates began their Great Valley journey together in 2007. Fast forward 13 years to March 13, 2020. Although that was our last day together in the high school, our learning together continued, but at home. Spending so much time at home these past few months provided me the opportunity to notice some things about my house and the items in it. One thing I noticed is how many mugs I have in my kitchen. This mug arrived in my house seven years ago. It was a gift given to all Charlestown fifth graders at their end of year ceremony in 2013. I bet some of you have this mug in your kitchen too. I remember looking at it at the time and thinking to myself, class of 2020, that has a nice ring to it. That is so far away, 2020. What a cool year to graduate. At that time, none of us could have ever imagined that the class of 2020 would experience the end of their senior year at home during a global pandemic. But this class did, and they made the best of it, and they learned in a way that no other senior class has collectively experienced before, that life sometimes is not fair. Life certainly has not been fair for one of your classmates who was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma at the beginning of her senior year. Skylar Seely, an outstanding student, athlete, classmate, and friend, is a fighter and a goal setter. She was not going to let cancer stand in the way of her goal of graduating high school with her classmates and lifelong friends. And with the support of her family and her Great Valley family, she has worked so very hard fighting this cancer and completing all of her schoolwork in order to reach her goal. You did it, Skylar. We've missed you this year, and we are also very proud of all you have overcome to be graduating with your classmates tonight. Life is not fair, but like Skylar has shown us, when challenges occur, big and small, we have a choice in how we deal with them. One of my many what I will call Dr. Capisms is as follows. You can't control what other people say or do, but you can control how you react to them. In our current world of COVID-19, None of us had any control over the circumstances we've been facing for the past three months, but we did have the opportunity to control our reactions. And seniors, I want to thank you for how you reacted during this time. You showed up and you finished strong. You faced many disappointments, but you showed great resilience. And as you close this chapter of your lives, I hope you will remember that no matter what circumstances you will face in your future, you always have control of how you react to them. And may I suggest that every day you find time to learn, laugh, and love. Follow your passions, surround yourself with positive people, and when things don't go exactly as planned, be a flexible, innovative problem solver. Find ways to connect and collaborate, seek to understand different perspectives, and make it a goal to learn, laugh, and love every day. Class of 2020, I have loved watching you grow up, and it has been my honor to be your principal. I wish you the very best in life always. And tonight, I raise this mug to toast each and every one of you, our incredible Great Valley Class of 2020. Congratulations. At this time, I am honored to acknowledge some of Great Valley High School's exceptional academic achievers. These are students in the class of 2020 who have earned National Merit Scholarship Program finalist status. 
Congratulations to the following outstanding scholars. Rithvik Bobbley, Caitlin DePaula, Kevin Goh, Noah Harrigan, Carolyn Huey, Aveline Cower, Colin Lee, John Lee, Luke Liu, David Nemeth, Amish Sani, Alyssa Utek, Alan Zhu, Kenneth Yang, Christopher Yi, and Lucy Zhang. Since 1972, the Great Valley faculty has had a unique tradition of selecting students to sign our school's honor book. These students are chosen for the significant, positive, and unique contributions they have each made to our school throughout their high school years. At this time, I would like to recognize the five seniors who were selected by the faculty to sign the honor book for the class of 2020. Casey Capitola, Isaiah Cunningham, Caitlin DePaula, Tyler DiTulio, Diana Tiburcio. We will now recognize the valedictorian and the salutatorian for Great Valley's class of 2020. This year's salutatorian with a grade point average of 4.631 is Noah Harrigan. The valedictorian with a GPA of 4.663 is Alan Zhu. Congratulations. Dr. Regina Speaker Polobinski joined Great Valley as superintendent in 2015. She previously served as an educator and administrator in, at all levels pre-kindergarten through high school in regular and special education. Prior to coming to Great Valley, Dr. Speaker Polobinski worked at the state level as a special assistant to the Pennsylvania Secretary of Education. Dr. Speaker Polobinski has spent her last five years at Great Valley tirelessly supporting our school's mission. Her engagement in our community has led to her facilitation of the Great Valley High School Student Forum. Unfortunately, this will be the last graduation that Dr. Speaker Polobinski will share with us as superintendent. Next year, she will be taking a position as the executive director of the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit. Dr. Speaker Polobinski, we thank you for your years of service to our community, and we wish you the best of luck moving forward. With that, please welcome Dr. Regina Speaker Polobinski. Good evening, parents, families, teachers, and friends. And most especially, I welcome the graduating class of 2020. It is my honor to be celebrating tonight with you and to mark your graduation from Great Valley High School. For very obvious reasons, tonight isn't what any of us thought it would be back in September. Concerning the loss of a traditional graduation ceremony, I join you in that feeling of loss and disappointment. After all, for as long as Great Valley can remember, we have celebrated graduation in the same formal way, complete with pomp and circumstance. We want the day, the event, to be distinct and memorable. We want the ceremony to serve as the culmination of every ceremony we've attended up to this point. Members of the class of 2020, you deserve all that and more. As we are experiencing, the world just had other plans. Tonight, in this unique gathering, I would like to encourage you to think about your graduation, about your senior year, in a new way. If our thinking can be reframed just a little, I believe that we will find that tonight is special in a way no other class has ever known. I think we will find the circumstances surrounding tonight make the class of 2020 even more distinct than we already knew you were. Never before has Great Valley graduating class had to face the challenges you have faced. Perhaps no other class will be a part of history the way your class will be. Despite the way in which you were forced to end your senior year, you did not give up. You kept going, you persevered in a way 
of engaging with your classmates and teachers, of making differences in your community, and of meeting the challenges of school in a virtual environment in new and creative ways. Despite the lack of traditional pomp and circumstance, you are tonight becoming a graduate of Great Valley High School. And this class is certainly special and memorable. We are grateful for you and the contributions you've made to Great Valley. More than ever, we need you. The world needs the resilience you offer, the imagination you bring, and the discipline you've demonstrated. We need people who can look at the world in a rational way and make decisions rooted in facts and reason. Adaptable people who can make the best of challenging situations and rise above adversity to find solutions. We need your warmth and your curiosity. We need your vested interest in making a difference for yourself, each other, and the world. Tonight, as you graduate, perhaps you are gaining something additionally special. You know that you have been tested and did not falter. You kept going in the face of uncertainty and you made the best of your situation to be here tonight. Nothing in life is more important than being needed. And trust me, the world needs you and the contributions you will make. I wish I could give you all the graduation you deserve, and I continue to hold on to the hope of that happening later this year. But for now, I encourage you to celebrate even if it can't be in the ways you had expected. You are an outstanding class, a history-making class, a class I know we will continue to hear about in the future. I am proud of you, class of 2020. I applaud you for holding on to the things that are most important and for serving as, as an example to all of us about the power of being caring, resilient, creative, and determined. As you step into the great unknown of your future, find comfort in the fact that you have already faced the unknown with courage and heart. You have excelled in so many ways in the process. I hope you have learned that it is okay to not have all the answers. Trust in yourself and in others who, if you let them, will help you find your way. More importantly, listen to your own intuition. Find the lessons in every experience and practice gratitude for the many good things in your life. Please remember that there is always a special place for you in Great Valley and we will always welcome you home. Congratulations to you and your families. Please know I am extending all of my very best wishes for your future. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rhea Tandon, and I am the Vice President of the Class of 2020. Today, I have the honor of introducing Mr. David Barrett. David Barrett is President of the Great Valley School Board and in his 11th year of serving on the board. Mr. Barrett and his wife, Claudia, have lived in Malvern for 19 years. They have two sons, both graduates of Great Valley. Mr. Barrett earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering from Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana, and holds a Certificate of Business from Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He has worked over 27 years in the private sector, where he currently manages the supply chain for a Fortune 500 company. When he is not attending school board meetings, he spends time with his family and enjoys skiing and making home improvements. Please welcome Mr. David Barrett. Thank you, Ria. Good evening, class of 2020. It's my honor to represent the Great Valley School Board and congratulate you and on your accomplishments. For a class which was born during 9-11 and is graduating during a, pandem a pandemic, you definitely have been through a lot so far in your life. You are, without a doubt, set to handle anything moving forward. So today, you begin the next chapter in your life. We've heard of your many accomplishments over the years, and we look forward to hearing of the many more to come. 
So on behalf of the Great Valley School Board, along with your parents, families, teachers, and all of the Great Valley community, I wish you the best. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Mr. President, each member of this class has completed the academic requirements of the Pennsylvania State Department of Education and can now be approved by the Board of School Directors as graduates of Great Valley High School. It is my pleasure to proudly present the students in the class of 2020 for the awarding of their individual diplomas. In keeping with Great Valley tradition, our first graduates to be announced are our Student Council President, Diana Tiburcio, and our Senior Class President, Emma Bannister. They will now call the names of their classmates who will receive their diplomas. Iman Amir. Cody Michael Abel. Lillian Olivia Acosta. Nathan Jacob Alex. Sana R. Amin. Trevor Matthew Anderson. Edgar Andrews the Fourth. Christian A. Angelov. Heidi M. Atlas. Max Lewis Austin. Raem Aviam. Parth Aswasti. Adit Awatramani. Casey Lee Ayer. Elvin Bocci. Michael Edward Baker. Duncan Nathaniel Barf. Finnegan Fur Basil. Jacob Thomas Bogger. Rachel Lynn Beblo. Joshua Bowman Baylor. Jackson Edward Benick. Lauren E. Birchler. Rithvik Bobley. Thomas Robert Berger. Emily Ann Giuliano Borger. Madison Grace Borromeo. Meredith Bennett Borscht. Kiva Ann Brady. Ben Briskin. Vanessa Marie Broadrop. Jack Noah Brogan. Neve Marie Brown. Heather Nicole Buckholtz. Angela Rose Bonanno. Isabella Grace Bonanno. Eric Christopher Burns. Evan Noel Buteau. Mackenzie Aaliyah Kane. Shannon Marie Campbell. Dominic John Caniglia. Casey Angelo Capitola. Nicole Parker Capriola. Gregory George Carpenter. Nathan Lawrence Carter Jr. Catherine Elizabeth Casey. Riley Lloyd Douglas Casey. Christopher Dunham Chamberlain. 
Lee Walker Chamberlain. Ian George Chesnov. Claire J. Chen. Justin Minsu Cho. Catherine Grace Coffey. Ava Catherine Cofield. Jordan Charles Colucci. John Paul Copa. Riley G. Costello. Daniela Alejandra Cotero. William Gray Craig. Rose Amy Kramer. Peter Mitchell Crane. Slade Exley Crane. Matthew S. Crawford. Isaiah Mark Cunningham. Ryan Susanna Curley. Jillian Page Diadimo. Christopher Alfonso D'Antonio. Logan William Davison. It's L. Sari De Leon. John Andrew Dembrack. Caitlin Amber DePaula. Philip James DeSantis. Kaylee Rose Desender. Tyler Harrison DeTulio. Cameron Page Devine. Anna Noel DeCranian. Carl Gabriel Donato III. Susan Ruth Dutt. Caroline L. DeVivier. Rachel Elizabeth Dwyer. Chloe Noel Elliott. Liliana S. Evans. William O. Fan. Audrey Hope Fiedler. Nicholas Todd Full. Samantha Iris Frank. Simon Gajewski. Lindsay Ann Gall. Amrutha Rukmini Gandham. Samir Amit Gangoli. Samuel Jacob Garthwaite. Christopher Michael Gianchetti. Dylan Joseph John Donato. Carolyn Olivia Glazer. Rachel M. Glixman. Diego Gonzalez Diaz. Brendan Matthew Goza. Brett Mauger Graff. Emma E. Gray. Karsten Janchik Greenways. Jessica L. Greiser. Kathleen M. Greiser. Ryan T. Greiser. Mia Isabel Gorillo. Jacob Albert James Groby. Kevin Guo. Gananesh Chowdhury Gouda. Alexander C. Hafner. 
Jacqueline E. Heights. Zachary B. Hancock. Noah R. Harrigan. Lillian Porter Hecht. Armin Hydiafar. Sarah L. Hedgelin. Skylar Brooke Hiltabidal. Dylan Francis Hero. Justina Caitlin Hollihan. Ian Justice Holliday. Matthew Robert Holsclaw. Jacob William Hoover. Benjamin Robert House Kelly. Thea Helena Howard. Carolyn Judith Huey. Jack David Huffman. Tyler J. Humphreys. Jeffrey Iride Raj. Jeremy Reed Jacobson. Ananya Jane. Priscilla Jara. Trinity Blue Johnson. Zaire Wesley Johnson. Shane Xavier Johnston. Eduardo Juarez Neri. Nicole Paige Karwaski. Evelyn Carr. Avni Kavathakar. Ariana E. Keith. Brendan Thomas Keller. Michaelia Caitlin Kelly. Abigail May Kennedy. William Brock Kessler. Rhea Rajesh Kot. Taylor Kim. Heather Hui King. Elijah Paul Kincaid. Courtney Lucille Klump. William Nathan Cobb. Anthony Edward Karab. Sophie Kristen Crayhansel. Larissa Jane Kratzinger. Muni Yatin Kumar Kuntumala. Madison Elizabeth Lake. Jessica Renee Langlois. Tegan Louise Larcombe. Cheyenne Brittany LaRue. Nathaniel William Lasky. Madison Elise Leach. Samuel Austin Levin. Colin Philip Lee. John Lee. Tessa Rose Liberato Scoli. Matthew Connor Liebenskind. Morgan H. Littlefield. Luke Liu. Stephen Liu. Gerson Alexander Llanos. Taylor N. Lunati. Trevor Scott Long. 
Robert Omar Lucianado Rodriguez. Julie G. Lyons. Travis Joseph Madden. Leo Mikulski. Sean Patrick Maloney. Miles Andrew Marr. Elizabeth Elena McAleer. Corinne Elise McCarthy. Zachary T. McCarthy. Lily Ruth McDade. Nicholas J. McDonald. Faith Elizabeth McElwain. Kaylee Marie McGarvey. Nathaniel James McKay. Helena Catherine McMahon. Daniel W. McQuiston. Monica Lynn Medalia. James Elliot Milton. Jackson Carter Mishler. Madeline Jane Mueller. Graham Michael Musella. Marina Ann Nodwadney. Lauren Elizabeth Nardi. Alexander T. Nazri. Shruti Rajesh Natarajan. Carter Xavier Nelson. Christopher L. Nelson Jr. David Kale Nemeth. Brian Vo Wynn. Ever Nolasco. Ilsa Ariadna Nunez Victoria. Catherine Patricia Olofsson. Caitlin Elizabeth Pancoast. Bradley Richard Parker. Sophia Juliet Pechen. Stanley George Pittman III. Andrea Valentina Ponce Bravo. John Martin Porter. Victoria Christine Blagivsky Procida. Luis Carlos Quintero. Tara Rizavion. Madison Nicole Redman. Alia Saray Riley. Claire K. Riser. Brooke Elizabeth Renahan. Bennett Kyle Resnick. Carlos Reyes Marcelo. Samuel Foster Ricker. Jake T. Riddle. Brianna Elise Rivera. Elver Josias Rivera Lopez. Ariel Nicole Roberts. Ian Joseph Rodriguez. Cleo Sophie Roker. Alec Frederick Romanovich. Melissa Ann Rothman. Sarah Abigail Rothman. Connor Lee Ryan. Kaylee Brooke Ryan. Liam T. Ryan. 
Nathan W. Ryan. Mark D. Sabatini. Jonathan Hayden Sadanaga. Amish Sani. Andrew Richard Sar. John Keo Shadel. Katrina Schnackenberg. Spencer Steven Schumacher. Skylar Rose Seely. Madison Riley Sigarnik. John Saliba Sher. Samantha M. Shanahi. Girja Sharma. Christopher Carlisle Sharp Jr. Addison Morgan Sean. Adiola Sholola. Tara Elaine Shores. Alexander B. Shadden. Connor R. Sibley. David Eduardo Siguenza. Leilani Christine Silen. Constantinos DeSudis. Christian Joseph Scodney. Savannah L. Smith. Benjamin Carl Spiegel. William Alexander Spiegel. Andrew Michael Stagnero. Jack Christopher Staff. Joshua Thane Steele. Carly Elizabeth Stello. Alicia Obsetu Eve Stavons. Carolyn Audrey Stiles. Anish Reddy Sudini. Rhea Tandon. Shreya Rupali Thangada. Alexandra Catherine Thomas. Carmen Elizabeth Thomas. Garrett Robert Thomas. Julian Giovanni Thomas. Aaliyah Thompson. James C. Thompson. Nathan Matthew Thompson. Keith Jude Thornton. Neil Teniker. Ethan Sergey Torian. Grace Alice Toner. Olivia May Trickett. Shi Chiao Sao. Peyton A. Turner. Alyssa Jane Utek. Jesse Gabriel Velez. Krishna Vepachadu. Andrea Isabella Vieira Quintana. Tony Wang. Stephen Kyle Weissman. Brooke M. Wilkes. Carolyn Riley Wilson. Benjamin C. Wolf. Kevin Thomas Wolf. Sophia Francesca Wazinski. 
Alan T. Zhu. Molly Arang Yake. Kenneth William Yang. Christopher Yi. Veronica Helen Yance. Andrew M. Zapatelli. Lucy Zhang. Gina Yamilet Zuniga. Joelle J. Zuniga. And congratulations to our exchange student for this year, Antonino Pampanella. Today we will be singing Oceans and Stars by Amy Burnin for you. This piece is specifically special for a few reasons. Firstly, the piece is about leaving home and going on a journey, but knowing that when you come back home, you'll be welcomed. The second reason that it is special is because many of our senior members of the choir sang this in middle school choir. We hope you enjoy Oceans and Stars. Everybody, tassel time. Get your tassel from the right side. Move it over to the left. You just graduated. Let's go. Mm. 